Hello, my fellow Americans. Tis I, the Rumpel One. And if you are a fellow American, hello to you too. Uh, somebody corrected me and said, you know, there's people around the world watching these videos and they're not all Americans. But, you know, usually when I do the hello, my fellow Americans, it's to express something that's going on here in this country and something that, you know, my fellow Americans need to be aware of and maybe need to take action. And my fellow Americans, things are about to get really real here in the U.S. of A. Coming down to the election, which I have a sneaking suspicion something's going to happen, something so big, so out, you know, just out there that we just don't see it coming. And I think somehow we're going to find we're going to be under martial law come election time. I hope I'm wrong. I really do. But with what happened in Florida, Orlando, with the gunmen going in there and killing all those gay, gays at the club or people at the club, I don't know if everybody that got killed was gay. But, you know, now they're trying to once again have more gun control laws. They tried to redact the statement that the that the assailant called 911 he identified with ISIS and Obama and the rest are trying to tell you no no he's got nothing to do with ISIS this is a gun violence issue where we all know that that's a bunch of crap they had uh was it Loretta Lynch tried to get on there and tell us that but then you know th there was just too much public outcry maybe because of the media maybe you know, the alternative media, YouTube videos, you know, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff, Instagram, all those different ways where people can get out there and, and tell you what's really happening. I mean, you see what's going on in Venezuela, how that corrupt government is basically starving the people. People don't have food. They can't even buy toilet paper. And a lot of people, they see that, but they don't realize we're on the brink. It could happen here. I mean, all these false flags that are being talked about. All these things about, you know, what FEMA is doing. What other government agencies are doing. Like they said, why does the uh, some of these government agencies that have nothing to do with law enforcement, why are they being armed? Remember, Obama said we needed our own civilian army. What he's been doing through the course of his presidency basically amounts to treason when you really think about it. And why the Congress is complicit, why they go along, is beyond me. I, I really don't know what's going on. But I think the eyes of the American public may be opened. Maybe the people are going to wake up. That's why I said stuff could get real. Because all it would take is Obama to do some type of gun grab and we could see civil unrest like we haven't seen since the Civil War. I mean, it might, it might make the riots in the 60s look like a play date. But things can get real really fast. And then, of course, the hypocrisy. Obama is building a, a bigger wall around the White House. But, but he talks about Trump building a wall around the country as though that's crazy. You know, they want to bring in all these people who are these Syrian refugees without vetting them after what's happened in Orlando. You would think that they could connect the dots if they had two brain cells on active duty communicating with each other. They might put a stop to it, but no, Hillary Clinton wants to bring in I don't know how many thousands. Not to mention, these people are given money and just given things. Where's that money come from? I think if you look in the mirror, you might know the answer. Or you might see the answer. It's just crazy, borderline crazy. 
is as if common sense has just left the planet. But I tell you, I really fear that they might do something that just pushes people over the edge so they can come in with the superior force. Because, you know, they're talking about AR-15s. Number one, it's one shot. You know, you pull the trigger once, it shoots one bullet. That's the way AR-15s are designed. And the funny thing is, the assailant didn't even use an AR-15, so why are they talking about AR-15s? These people don't know what they're talking about. And you do have to wonder how he could have time to reload and nobody tried to jump him. It just does, Some things just don't make sense when you look at them. When you when you when you sit back and you analyze it, you know you got Obama and Hillary and all those people, those Democrats, trying to blame Trump for what happened in Orlando, trying to blame Republicans because they won't pass gun control. Well, the reason they don't want to pass gun control is because maybe they know that the people might rise up and use the guns for the purpose intended. Use the Second Amendment for the purpose intended, which is that when government gets too big for its britches, we need to get rid of that government. It's that simple. And if we can't do it through the ballot box, then we do it through the bullet box. It's that simple. Now really, my fellow Americans, and if you're here and you're not an American, you need to lock and load. You need to get ready for what's coming. You need to protect yourself because dialing 911 ain't going to work. Ain't going to be of much help. You know, there's laws out there and you just have to decide for yourself. Who gets to tell you what you can and can't do? I mean, yeah, we got the Constitution. We've got the Bill of Rights. We've got the Second Amendment. But you know what? If I want to carry a gun, I'm going to carry a gun. And if you're willing to die, take the chance of dying to take that my gun away from me, then you just go right ahead. It's that simple. And if more people had that attitude that, you know what? You don't get to tell me what to do. Some of this stuff's ridiculous. There needs to be pushback. You know, there's, there's being laws written and passed and ordinances passed, administrative rules being written and passed and implemented that just restrict our freedoms. I mean, do you feel the boot on your neck? You know, in the land of the free, you got to get permission to build a house. I mean, is that not crazy? And in most states... You don't pay your property tax to the government, they take your property away. So even though you don't have a mortgage, you still don't own the property. The government owns the property. Why? Because they have more guns than you do. Bigger guns. It's that simple. I mean, if I had an army here, and I had all the weaponry I needed, then I wouldn't pay taxes to the county because <laughs> what are they going to? How are they going to make me? <laughs> they got tanks. I got bigger tanks. You know, they got whatever. I got bigger and better or more. You know, they got a hundred men. I can have a hundred and twenty. I wouldn't have to pay property taxes. It's only through force that they can enforce the laws, and that's why they don't want us to have force. You know, we let things get out of hand. Well, not me, but I guess it was back around my grandfather's time, or maybe even before then, when we allowed the government to have automatic weapons and make them illegal for the citizens. That's when stuff got out of hand. I know I've talked about this in some of my earliest videos, but it's real simple. You know, back in the day, the forefathers had the state-of-the-art weapons in their front yards. It was called cannons. But 
You see, that's when the country, well, I can't really say that the country was united then, but that's when you had a group of people who did unite. And that's what we need to do in this country, in your neighborhood. It's a call to action. You need to unite your neighbors. You need to start getting together with the people that you live close close to so you guys can get together and have a force to protect yourself about because you don't know what's coming you don't know if it's the government if it's hoodlums if it's thugs if it's gangs but you need to protect yourself because there may be a time when 911 isn't working so my fellow Americans as always it is time to wake up and smell the tyranny and those of you who are not Americans, it's time for you to wake up and smell the tyranny too. Because it's not just here in the U.S., it's global. Just take a look at Venezuela and you'll see what I mean.